got ants in pants why can't you sit still <laughs> okay okay hello hi hello nancy hi how are you i'm good how are you enjoying your saturday saturday is off for you yes today is off okay and uh, little more about yourself where are you from and uh, what do you do um okay so i am from jhansi and living in pune uh, basically working having a 6 plus year of experience and i'm working in it industry okay and uh, purpose of joining clapping go uh, to improve my basically communication and uh, little bit of fluency maybe Okay, how many sessions have you already attended? Ah, uh, thirty plus, I think. <laughs> so, do you yeah. find the change in yourself? Is there any improvement as you had expected? Uh, yes, actually, earlier, uh, basically, on my thought patterns and the way I was communicating my thoughts earlier, there were lots of thoughts were mixing, and uh, I was like, when I was talking, I was, uh, uh, like. not completing my first sentence and jumping on another now i am completing my first sentence and i am really very conscious on it and now uh, then i am jumping uh, onto other one so thought patterns are really clear and the way i am communicating as well i mean i can see tremendous difference yeah. i was earlier now i am okay wonderful so should we come to the topic would you like uh, to sure ask? it's quite interesting i haven't seen it i haven't seen it but would love to know wow ah, so it's animals and pets are you Sorry? an animal animal and animals and pets okay okay are you an animal lover do you like to keep pets or um so basically uh, since i am jain and uh, the love for animals uh, grew uh, like when i was a child yeah instilled uh, instilled when i was child uh, but i am not really a animal uh, like pet uh, no. person baby no. i would say no. yeah but who oh, that's because it's you grow up with that feeling you have to take care of animals look after them and but right them. yes oh. not to harm them yes yes so first of all we'll focus on two idioms One okay. is ants in one's pants. Have you ever heard of this idiom? Ants in uh, one's pants. Uh, sorry, could you please uh, type it in the chat? Maybe uh, I'm not really getting it. Ants in pants. Ants It's in pants. Ants in pants. Okay, okay. Ants mm -hmm. in pants. Um, yeah. so this is an idiom which is often used for the children by the teachers my god why can't you sit still have you got ants in your pants maybe someone is too much mischievous or yes. doing lot of yeah. trouble making trouble basically making trouble or you can't sit still children are you can't sit okay restless so this is one idiom we are so often teachers often use this okay Oy, okay what happened got ants in pants why can't you sit still <laughs> okay okay and now another is hold your horses have you uh, ever yeah that i have uh, heard um it means um be ready for something i mean basically in the worst kind of situation uh, any captain directs to his army like hold your horse now we are going to attack this uh, one is that that is the literal meaning okay, okay. hold your okay. horses as idiom means be patient wait okay for okay don't be in a hurry we have we are waiting for the results there is anxiety i don't know what have i done i whether i will hold your pan Oh, so hold your horses. Hold Wait your ahead. horses. Okay. We'll see it soon. What okay. is? Okay. Or sometimes 
children said, oh, I have done extremely well. I will get full marks, yay, this and that. They're too excited. Then we tell them, okay, hold your horses. Wait for the result to be declared. Okay, yes. So these are, so I think idioms make your uh, language very impressive. Right. So whenever you come across and uh, on this platform, they share different idioms. If you get an opportunity to use them, use them. Sure. Then most common is hornet's uh, nest. This is very, very common. Okay. Calling for trouble. If you stir a hornet's nest, be prepared to bear the results. Okay. Okay, I would not dare to stir the hornet's nest. Oh, this situation is very difficult and very complicated. I would never jump into it. So these are... So whenever you come across, so please, it makes your language more impressive. If you are fond of watching web series and English movies, they use too many phrases and idioms often. Right. And uh, it's a good way to learn a language. Okay. Right. And now we come to the pets. Um, now... Uh, anybody in the family has ever kept a pet, had a pet? Um, not in my family, uh, but um, I have yes. one friend. Yeah, I have one colleague uh, who has a pet. So, uh, he, so he owns a cat. He owns a cat. Owns a cat, yeah. And uh, so when you meet your <laughs> friend, do, are you afraid of that cat? Yes. <laughs> I'm kind of yeah afraid of cats because uh, they uh, like it. Uh, what I'll say, hit bounce, by bounce, bounce. You. yeah, and, and they are unpredictable. Yeah, unpredictable, yeah, they are very unpredictable. They are not as loyal as dogs are. Right. And uh, but you, uh, when you go to meet your friend, that. So you tell your friend to keep away this dog only, uh, the pet only, then I'll enter your house or you just after some time you feel comfortable. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't afraid like that much. But yeah, I mean, I love to play with them. Like he okay. has one laser light and uh, I used to uh, this, I used to uh, uh, throw a light at the wall and the cat then jumps on the wall and like I was playing with the cat with the laser. Like so, the yeah. them, yes, but you would not dare touch the cat and let right. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. As long as they are not like it is not hurting me, then I'm okay with uh, playing with them. So from distance, they are very cute. Kite, you, yes. You dare not enter my vicinity. I dare not enter. I won't enter your vicinity. Yeah. Cats are that kind of. Uh, you know, if you try to go into your um, in their territory, then they get very, very aggressive. Oh, okay. I'll try uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> and they feel otherwise and very unpredictable, very naughty. And uh, but they say, I have never had a cat. They say they are harmless. Oh, but they don't otherwise. But uh, dogs definitely are very friendly, they are adorable creatures. Hmm, yeah. They are adorable. Once you get used to them, they just become so loyal to you. Right. That, that's it. So do um, you have a dog, pet? See, I also, I was just like you. I okay. Would with them, but when my daughter, she had a dog and she had to move to UK. Oh. So her dog came to me. Then I became very fond of her. Very, oh. very perfect. And now, uh, but I would not. She passed away. She lived a good life, but hmm. still, that when they die, it's very, very painful. Right. Correct. Yes. I would no, never keep again, though my daughter still has another dog. She's back here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, whole atmosphere, the whole environment of the house has changed when you have a pet. Okay. So it's recommendable to have a pet? I mean, 
I don't say I can't say my daughter has and my uh, grandson. Mm-hmm. He loves uh, to play with pets. He uh, was born and uh, then that dog was with me. It was a pug, little genie we used to call her. <laughs> he had fallen ill also. She was uh, last one or two years. He would he was very, very young, three years old. Oh, genie, baby, you stink. Still, oh. I love you. And, he would, <laughs> and now they have a proper, like, uh, golden retriever. Hmm. My brother. He is my brother. Okay. So they say that children who grow with the pets, they turn out to be very good human beings, compassionate. Hmm. And their immunity is better. <laughs> right. And... Uh, they are very adjusting also. Hmm. Right. These are things. I go and stay with her and I play with their dog. My brother has an adorable dog. And when you go, I but I can't take the responsibility. Right, right. Because you don't want to go through that pain again. It was very, very bad. Right, I yeah. Bad experience. Right. So because and this- then the doctor says, okay, you just put her to sleep. I still get the goosebumps. It's <laughs> three years since right. we lost her. Yeah. So this is, uh, you feel they are, you know, they don't expect unconditional love they give you. Aha, uh-huh, right. Right. Without so, expecting any return. Yes, yes. So, and uh, if, would you ever like to have a pet? Yes. So what animal? Dog, dog, dog. Yeah. So a big no, a dog or a, a little? One? Little one. I mean, um, the one, um, like li- little dog, I just want. No, not that, uh, uh, what I would big. say, that big dog. No, I don't want them. I just want a little puffy uh, kind of dog. Mm-hmm. Or maybe that... Yeah. Uh, uh, Vodafone dog. <laughs> oh, that is Pug. That was Pug, my Pug, dog. yeah. And you know, when you take them out for a walk, children come running as if <laughs> they are attracted like bees to honey. Oh, it's so cute. Can I have a picture with him? Or can I play with him? It's a wonderful feeling, but still, I get goosebumps. And sometimes, still, I have the feeling that when I go downstairs, she's following me. Hmm. So that is there. You become very right. attached. Right. Okay. So tell me something. Now I have been talking. It's you have to talk. Tell me something about your uh, experience. Anything. If you don't want to talk about pets, if you will have a pet, so what color would it be? What would you do? What would you name? Will it be a male or female? Whatever. Now you will tell. <laughs> okay. So, um, if I will have, so what I'll talk, how will I start my statement for if future? I if, if I if have, a have a pet. And then I'll follow by will, right? Uh, I will okay. or I will. I will. Okay. okay. So if I have a pet, uh, maybe, uh, so I would like to have a dog and maybe it, it would be a pug. And um, what I'll name, I haven't think, I haven't thought about name, uh, but... Um, Maybe, yeah, I'm just thinking what name I should give him. Um, Elvish, maybe, yeah. Elvish? Yeah. Why is it? What does it mean? I don't know. I just, I, I heard somewhere this name and I just, just this name thought came to me and I'm just thinking about calling uh, that dog by saying Elvish. Uh, it's a cute name. So yeah, so I'll, I'll call him Elvish. And yeah, it would be a male dog. So then I'll maybe go for a walk with him and uh, with it na, or him. But, uh, these days they say don't call it. Like my grandson says, no, it's not it. It's okay. my... Okay. But they are very, very particular about it. Call him. <laughs> okay, so I'll, I'll just go, uh, I'll just have a I walk with him and... Uh, yeah, and I'll play with him, and I think um, we'll we'll bring a cute home for him, and uh, we'll decorate it, 
and yeah but the only problem with me and with the dog would be his meal because i am jain i'm not allowed to take any meat or bone i don't know maybe i'll turn him into a vegetarian dog i don't know <laughs> this happens this happens yeah <laughs> yeah like, you won't believe my sister in laws are uh, radha swami if you know about it hmm. they don't know and they had a proper german shepherd they used oh. to give him nutri nuggets paneer and curd they never gave him yeah and yeah he lived a good life and my genie also i had turned it um, though i don't mind it but i started giving her paneer and uh, yeah then i think nothing is stopping me than having a dog <laughs> the only problem was food only i was keep thinking about it okay like will my dog survive or not but now i think i can have a dog now officially i think i can have now <laughs> <laughs> so you are convinced yeah i'm convinced now because the only problem was food and i was not convinced yet like will they survive or not because food is the something that uh, we need to give him properly they long for love Right. Oh. <laughs> uh, they once you give them care and love, they survive difficult situations also. Hmm. Okay. But they demand a lot of attention. They, when you come, you have to play, and they are temperamental also. If you don't play, they will be little. They throw, start throwing tantrums. They are just like babies, just like babies. Oh. and i have heard that we cannot keep alone we cannot leave alone a dog yes they should not be left alone but they are trained for that also okay Poor things. they when like my daughter and son in law both of them were working in mumbai and they used to leave her in apartment it was not okay. a very good house but when she came here she found the freedom all over and she would jump over the stairs i have a duplex house a little okay. card so and she thoroughly enjoyed <laughs> okay yeah. and now since we will get disconnected very soon it's 12 18 already and didn't know how the time flew yeah and you are able to um, express yourself now extemporaneous it's not that you um, have to make an effort so unknowingly little bit errors everybody makes sometimes hmm. so this is it So practice more, and if you want to improve your uh, become more confident, if you are not already doing it, start sending voice messages to your friends and colleagues instead okay. of typing. It really okay. helps a lot. Sure, I'll start doing this. This is very very convenient, and you become fluent like this. Okay. So and we'll do it. We'll do it. and th- these are few things and if you are fond of watching movies and all there are such wonderful options here so you can watch them also sure would you suggest one 